you know, I am at the heart of me, I am free. Um, and I also want to bring in again, another part of one of my favorite stories about Lilith is, you know, um, in some Midrash, which is like a retelling of myths from the Bible, etc., is that, you know, Lilith is actually the snake in the garden. It's not Lucifer, it's Lilith. And she comes to awaken Eve. Because she knows Adam is clueless. What is he going to do? So she goes and tells Eve, if you eat this apple from that tree over there, you are going to know everything. Your eyes will be opened and you'll be like God, knowing good and evil. So it's a very tricks, trickster-esque move, right? Um, well, you know, Lilith is definitely has the female trickster attributes, um, which is another reason why I love her. She's an anti-heroine trickster. Um, and so the question is, you know, we're, we're taught in so many Catholic or Christian ethics and schools that the snake is the liar. But really, I mean, God told, tells Eve, Adam and Eve, you eat from this tree, you're going to die. So maybe God didn't lie per se, because yes, they do. There's a metaphorical death. But who's really telling the whole truth? It's the serpent. It's Lilith. It's the snake. God does not tell the whole truth. So really, God is the liar in this story, not the snake. 